In this week's Ask the Vet, we are talking about your cat's health. Clay Humane is seeing something called blocked cats regularly. What does that mean? Well, cats can sometimes suffer from urinary blockages and that can cause problems to their entire bodies. Joining us this morning to break it down and how you can treat it as a pet owner, our friend Dr. Christian Broadhurst with Clay Humane, as well as Salem. Yep. Salem, who was on the show about a month ago, half the size. Yeah, <laughs> now he is just growing like a weed and still looking for that forever home. Yes. So he's a very good boy, very friendly and is patient enough to be, you know, to hang out on my leg while we're doing media. So. <laughs> he is. He's really calm. Yeah, he's he's really good boy. chill. So let, let's talk about this. Blocked cats. I don't think that I've, I've heard that before, but you're seeing more and more of this. Most people haven't heard of urinary blockages until their cat suffers one. Um, it's, it's very, very common in young male cats. Mm -hmm. And usually what happens is your cat goes to the litter box and he's spending longer in there than you expect. Mm -hmm. And then he's spending even longer and now he's straining, he's trying to pee, mm -hmm. nothing's coming out. And at that point, his bladder has been obstructed by a little plug of crystalline debris, and that okay. can be life-threatening. Is that almost like a, a kidney stone in a human? Similar. Um, it's more like crystals and a little bit of protein in there. They can make stones, and cats and dogs often do. Um, but with cats, this, this urinary blockage is almost always what we call a mucocrystalline plug, mm -hmm. and nothing you can do to predict it before it's gonna hit. Yeah, that does not sound fun for the cat or no, the owner. No, absolutely. So what do you do? Um, well, this is a medical emergency. If your cat does not get unblocked, their bladder will eventually rupture, which, as you can imagine, is not good news. Um, so it is a, an emergency where you've got to go to the clinic, your pet has got to be sedated, a urinary catheter has got to be run up, and then they stay in the hospital for two to three days while we're flushing things out. After that, they often go home on a prescription diet to make sure that this doesn't happen again. Um, but there are things you can do to prevent it, including make sure your cat has access to water at all times. Watch your cat because they are sneaky and they like to hide what's wrong with them. So uh, you may would want to do a little uh, litter box surveillance from time to time okay. just to make sure things are still happening. Yeah, just make sure that everything seems to be normal right exactly. there. Exactly. All right. So I, I know that I've been going by, uh, you know, some of the services throughout Northeast Florida. I know there's there's a busy time right now with cats. I was mm -hmm. talking with some of the experts, some of your counterparts across Northeast Florida, and they said there's a lot of cats out there that need to be adopted. Let's talk about that, Doc. Well, certainly. We are, um, the summer is kitten season, and uh, we're coming to the end part of the summer, and there are kittens about Salem size and age all over the place. And it is a problem. We certainly push spay neuter as hard as we can to prevent this problem from happening, but it doesn't stop the cats that are, you know, were born this season and it's time to get them homes. Cats are, are wonderful roommates. They're not dogs, they're not little furry dogs. A lot of people think, ah, oh, just get a little cat, it's like a little dog. They're their own creatures, um, but they're lots of fun. And uh, if you're not suffering from allergies or other medical problems that would preclude you from having a cat, they're a wonderful addition to the home. Absolutely. Absolutely, and Salem's looking for somebody. He's strong, he's yes, tough. If, if nobody knows, he's missing a leg. He was yep. hit by a car. He was hit by a car. He's running on three legs now. You wouldn't know any different. He uh, acts like he was born this way, and uh, he just wants to play. He just wants to have fun. All right, well, certainly people can reach out to Clay Humane if you want to uh, adopt Salem right here or, or some other cats. And we've got much more to talk about after the break. Dr. Broadhurst with Clay Humane. Appreciate your time. Thank you very much.